Over the course of four videos, we have reverse engineered the key verification algorithm implemented in Point Adventure 3. Now we know all the steps involved to verify it and we simply have to implement it in reverse order. There are two major algorithms that we have to reverse. One is the custom based 32 decoding, but that should be fairly simple, it's just encoding. And the other one is the RSA decryption. And reversing RSA, or getting the private key, is usually not possible, but in this case a very small key size is used for RSA, so we are able to get the prime factors of the modulus easily. Which means we get P and Q and then are able to recover the private key. We have done this in the hardware video, so check that one out for more details. So in the final loop, we compare the RSA decrypted result with the buffer combined out of the string point adventure 3 and 4 bytes. Those 4 bytes were from our user input. So basically the first 12 bytes of our input are being decrypted and they have to decrypt to point adventure 3 plus the remaining 4 bytes. This means we start by choosing 4 bytes, combine it with the point adventure 3 string and encrypt that. The RSA encryption result will be the 12 first bytes of our input and the last 4 bytes are the 4 bytes that we chose. And then that buffer is base32 encoded with our custom base32 encoding and the alphabet and that is our key. Pretty simple basics, right? But there are a few details we still have to figure out. For example, one byte of the 4 bytes taken from our input is actually AND hex3 and also the 4 bytes are then being shifted to the right and then XORed with hex2 bad code. Also, the 4 bytes and the 12 bytes are obviously overlapping by 1, but yeah. So here, I wrote the key again in JavaScript. I re-implemented the whole RSA encryption, or to be more specific, I re-implemented the modulus exponentiation with the same algorithm the assembler code in the last episode used, including the add and subtract and so forth. So if you had trouble to understand those algorithms last time, you can use my JavaScript implementation and add debug outputs and play around with it. Anyway, so here we generate the four random bytes. This buffer is the Pwned Adventure 3 string and we combine those two, then we have to apply the XOR and shift and pass that to the RSA encryption. Afterwards, we have to combine the result with the four bytes from the beginning and we are almost done. To repeat myself for the 10th time or so, this is the buffer that will be split up, the first 12 bytes are being decrypted with RSA and the last 4 bytes will then be combined with Pwned Adventure 3 and compared to the decrypted result. So here we have the output, which we now just have to base 32 encode with the custom encode function and also calculate the checksum. Here you see the base32 encode and decode function. You can also see the divide by 8, modulo 8 and bit shifting that was implemented in assembler. So maybe you can understand it better seeing this in JavaScript code. After all, we just have to print it. That's it. So like I said, I've implemented this in JavaScript so you can find the website here and generate keys. Let's get a key and submit it. We copy it, enter your unlock code below and boom, a quiet flag of the pirate. We also got a rob chain gun. 1337 machine gun, the ridiculously overpowered chain gun is especially effective against stacks of enemies. Smash em and stack em. And here's the flag of the last real challenge. Flag of the pirate. The key is Avast. Ya got my RSA. Awesome. We have now completed almost all challenges. Only one left. Overachiever. One last tip. You can also look at the JavaScript source code and play around with it. Maybe compare it to the equivalent assembler code to study how this stuff is implemented in assembler. See you soon to the finale.